Hey, what's up guys? Well, another day, another video. Always fun, right? Well, today we're going to dive into a key shot and I'm going to be talking about linking and unlinking materials. Here we go. This video has been sponsored by Bloop Animation. If you want to learn 2D or 3D animation, the principles of any animation, storyboarding foundations, or even how to create an entire animated movie, then just follow the link in the description and you will get a begin to end course while supporting my channel at no extra expense to you. Alright guys, so we're in Keyshot 8.2 Pro to be exact, and today we're going to be talking about linking and unlinking materials, right? Now, uh, before I forget to mention it, in about three months or so, Keyshot 9 will be released, and I will be doing videos on that as well, so don't miss that, okay? Now, the reason why we're doing this video is because I've been doing a lot of my videos lately, and you guys asked me to mix it up a little bit, so I'm starting to do some After Effects tutorials, and I will be adding more Keyshot tutorials as well, right? Okay, so back to the video. Okay, now, linking and unlinking materials. Let's say you created a model in uh, Blender, Maya, 3ds Max, ZBrush, whatever, and you didn't take the time to create a color ID mask to identify the different materials that you want to apply later on in Keyshot, right? Then, if you import your model, um, the chances are that the entire model will be covered in one material. Now, that wouldn't be a problem, you would think, right? Well, let's see. We're going to go up to materials, and I just took this demo piece here. And if you want to use this one, just hit the short key W on your keyboard. Hit W. Go to demo scenes and click on the blue kettle there, right? Okay. So I got all of that. I'm going to enter my materials here. And let's say I have some, uh, I don't know, hard plastic. And I want hard blue plastic on, let's say, just the main body right there, right? So I'm going to drag it in, drop it on, and as you can see, the entire thing turns blue. And that's obviously what I don't want. So I have to unlink that material. So I'm going to hit Control Z to go back. And what I can do is Control click on the main body of the kettle. So hold on Control, click right there. And as you do that, and let me just make sure I don't have everything selected here. Let me just go, okay. So we're going to go in here, we're going to Control click, and we got this guy going on, this guy. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click, go to material, and we're going to go to unlink material. So now that main body of the kettle is the only piece of the entire kettle that is not linked to everything else. And I'll prove it to you. We'll take this blue plastic, we'll drag it, we'll drop it on to the main body. There you go. That's the only thing. All right, so now I can start the texture, right? So let's say I just want red plastic on the handle. Well, what happens when I do that? As you can see, everything that was not previously unlinked will turn into that color, right? So we don't want that. Let's get rid of that. And just to make things less confusing, what I'm going to do here is get rid of that ground material so we're not selecting that all the time, right? Okay. There you go, and there you go. Alrighty. Okay, so how do we unlink everything else? Well, you can go on as before, so control clicking, right? So control click the handle right click on the right right there go to material and unlink material so now you can drag that red in for example like so or what you can do is you can select everything in one go now how do you do that you hold down your shift key you left click and drag and you marquee select the entire model right like so there you go everything on the right is now selected as you can see now, the thing here is though that a piece, a couple of pieces are already uh, unlinked and a few are not. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go to uh, material and we're gonna go to unlink material. Now, all of them are unlinked. So now if I wanna go in and take, for example, green and put that on one specific piece, let's say down here, I can do that. I can go in and take black and put that on, let's say the top piece and there you go. So that's how easy that is, right? So to recap, a couple of places where you can do this, and I'll just go back a few steps. Hit Control Z to go back, 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 until everything is gray again. Almost there, right? So you can Control click on the material like this, which will create a selection over here. So Control click. You can uh, drag select by holding down Shift and dragging like so. 
or you can simply go to the right straight away like here select anything you want to link or unlink let's say this or this or this right click go to material and go to either link or unlink in this case you can only click unlink because it's linked right so that's all there's to it uh, hopefully that's helpful it will save you a lot of time when you are creating uh, color id masks and so forth and uh, in one of the following up videos i'm going to show you how to do something like this using the nodes all right so if you've got questions about that let me know in the comments if you haven't subscribed just yet please do so so you won't miss anything and thank you guys for watching see you guys next time bye